Very good morning. This is Ruben Spruit. In this video, I want to demonstrate the power of client-side VDI, so client-side desktop virtualization solutions. Um, I'm running uh, Windows 7, the 64-bit edition, on this HP EliteBook. This HP uh, EliteBook um, contains 4 gigabytes of uh, of RAM. It's my corporate desktop, corporate laptop. I've installed uh, VMware Workstation 7 and I've installed Windows XP mode for Windows 7 as well. Both desktop virtualization solutions are type 2 desktop virtualization solutions which means that these applications are installed on this Windows 7 machine. First I want to switch over to this, uh, this VM. This VM uh, contains a Windows 7 VM as well. This is my private VM Within this private VM, I can run my own applications. I have the freedom to install applications. Uh, I can do whatever I want. <coughs> and I can use these applications side by side with my corporate desktop. And I even can even uh, integrate these personal applications in my corporate environment using Unity in uh, VMware Workstation. Um, I'm recording this video with Camtasia, and Camtasia has some in performance uh, impact on uh, graphical performance um, so you will see some de performance degradation um, when you compare it to your own environment uh, as you can see the uh, graphical um, Windows experience index is higher than previous versions of uh, VMware Workstation which means that graphical intense applications can run um, in this environment as well or can run better in this environment than previous versions and you can use uh, Flip 3D, for example. I'll close this one. I can run my personal games, for example, chess. I can switch over to full screen, makes it even uh, even better. Yep, here it is. So this VM is uh, is running on uh, VMware Workstation, and VMware Workstation is installed as a Type 2 hypervisor on my Windows 7 instance. I can run Google Earth, which is using uh, DirectX, DirectX, DirectX 9. And she go. It's a pretty nice uh, area to visit. Graphical is much, much better when Camtasia is disabled. But yeah, that's how it is within this video. I cannot change it today. Let's zoom in. Let's pick a nice boat. So that's not bad at all. So running this VM means that I can use my personal applications in this VM and present it seamlessly to this corporate desktop. And with seamlessly, I can use um, sorry, I can use Unity to seamlessly integrate these applications in my corporate desktop. What I can do, and that's um, that's another uh, topic. I can use um, Windows XP mode for Windows 7 which means that Microsoft Virtual PC is running on this machine is installed on this machine with some additional components and I can use legacy applications like Internet Explorer 6 and present these applications seamlessly to Windows 7 and it's the same seamless integration as VMware Workstation has with their Unity solution so this as you can see is running Windows XP is running Windows the Microsoft Internet Explorer 6. What I can do as well is run virtual applications like Safari, which is thinned, which means which is uh, uh, packaged with a virtual application format. In this case, it's uh, it's VMware thinned application virtualization. 
but it also can be it could, it's also possible to use AppV or ZenApp or Install3 or uh, Altera Symantec solution as well. And these Safari solution, Safari application is not installed in this XP VM. It just published in this XP VM and seamlessly integrated in my corporate Windows 7 machine. So in this video you saw um, VMware Workstation 7 and XP mode for Windows 7. Both are desktop virtualization solutions, uh, are type 2 desktop virtualization solutions, which means that these applications are installed uh, on this machine, this hypervisor is installed on this machine. And there are a lot of benefits. I can run my own applications side by side my corporate environment, or I can use my own laptop side by side with my corporate applications. And I can use legacy applications within Windows 7. I want to thank you for your attention and see you soon.